Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, my job today is kind of to take everyone a little bit into, um, usually I do this talk at a very detailed techie event. So I usually come in and I say, I'm gonna take you out the detail and pull you into more of the top level stuff. But this morning you've had quite a lot of inspiration. So hopefully uh, what this is gonna be is quite practical and um, show you some ways that you can pretty much guarantee an increase in the value of your business straight away um, and walk you through some bits and bobs that are gonna be absolutely necessary for when you do come to sell your business. So first of all, a little bit of an introduction. My name is Josh and uh, I work with a company called Avalanche Enterprise. Um, Avalanche is a, well, started initially as a pure social media agency, so we basically ran campaigns for companies all over the world, um, quickly became uh, key partners in some big franchises, uh, one of which is Action Coach. Um, obviously, yeah, this is my dad, but in terms of a working relationship, we also work heavily with that company. Um, we've trained Taught and Thought, which is what our kind of coin term is now, um, meaning that we've trained with companies like LinkedIn, we have taught with companies like LinkedIn and we have helped them with thought leadership and what is needed in the marketplace. Um, and we take that trained, taught and thought mindset into all of our partners and um, I'm very happy to say that we are key partners in a number of uh, very, very uh, top level technologies and marketing yeah, companies around the world, which is awesome. Um, we are working closely with, we have worked with large influencers, again, uh, such as Marshall Goldsmith, Terry Matthews, uh, Brad Sugars, Robert Kiyosaki, um, again, people that are quite big in the marketing space, very, very, very knowledgeable, um, especially in the world of coaching and general business development. So um, the, one of the biggest um, assets I believe we have as an agency is that because of our involvement with coaching, um, running marketing campaigns for coaches, we've been so um, like embedded into the SME marketplace, that it's very it's very hard not to have had the very very good um, practical business education. So we've been taught and uh, drilled into a lot of times about all this stuff. Um, so hopefully we can give you guys some insights into how you can make it work practically. So obviously today's about selling your business. Obviously, um, in order to sell the business, most of the time to get the, the what you need to get out of it, you're going to have to finish it. Um, and what finishing it means really is, is different to everyone. Um, you know, it could mean selling it, it could mean reaping the profits, it could mean retiring to the beach, it could mean you know, a legacy, it could mean to give it all to charity. Um, everyone has their own different reason. Um, but in reality, we don't put ourselves through all this bollocks for, for no reason. We, we would actually usually, um, even if it is someone like, oh, I'm doing it for charity or I'm doing it to leave a legacy, generally there's, um, there is a reason why you're doing it. Uh, it's either you know, family or whatever, it's, it, there, there is a reason. You're not, you're not just doing all this you know, for, for, for no reason at all. Um, it's, it's relatively painful, I'm sure you can uh, uh, all agree. Um, I have a great, great, great uh, picture actually on my Instagram, so if you get a chance to go and check that out, it shows the, the life of an entrepreneur is this like weird, crazy peaks and troughs and you know different different kind of states sayings at different stages and um, my girlfriend actually says it to me often that she's like, don't worry, you'll, tomorrow you'll be on a peak um, because it's kind of just absolutely natural that you're up and down, up and down, up and down. But what it's really important is, is that you're, you actually know where you're going um, and you kind of understand what that finished thing looks like um, because then obviously there's somewhere to look at and somewhere to kind of anchor on in your brain when all the, all, all the shit hits the fan, um, as it does on a common basis. Um, you've heard this phrase this morning, a good business is a commercial profitable enterprise that works without me. Um, we start to take this a little bit further. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of the book Good to Great, but it's a great, great book. Um, we say this is a good business, right? What we say a great business is, is this. It's a great business as a commercial profitable enterprise that grows without me. Now that's the difference between 5 and 10x when you sell your business, is a business that doesn't just work without you but also grows without you. And in order to, for a business to grow without you, you need to have exceptional marketing systemization and general, everything needs to be in a central place where you can show your investor that if you park your money with me, your business is going to grow without you. That's, that's the difference between 5 and 10x in terms of a business sale. Um, and the absolute practical example of this is, as you guys saw earlier, Serena Grant is our hair salon, beauty chain, cosmetic chain that we started last year. Um, we are on the buyer side right now, so we're just raising capital to go and buy salons. Our, our goal is to buy 50 in the next five years. Um, we're just completing on the second one, um, just raising capital to purchase, or just have raised capital to purchase the next three next year. Um, 
And when we get when we're in the negotiation stage of this organization, they originally had it valued by the, the business valuation office at 150,000 um, pounds. We immediately were able to figure out that it was worth about 40 because it was, it, 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 that was its net profit and the owner worked in it 45 hours a week. So it wasn't a business that worked without the owner. So it was immediately worth about one times profits generally on a maximum level. We then immediately went in there and saw that they actually didn't have any technology, they didn't have any marketing, they didn't have any systemization, and that immediately put another half to their business's valuation. So the real difference between the, 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 these two businesses that in reality is nothing. Like in terms of look, in terms of image, in terms of you know what their profitability was, but the reason why they aren't earning double straight away is because they haven't got this very simple marketing management system and general data management system in their business, so that they can show me that I have some my, reduce my mitigate my risk a little bit and show me that you know it's actually going to be okay for me to park my twenty grand or forty grand in this company, um, and I'm not going to. You know, lose it. I'm not gonna, you know, turn up on Monday and all my customers are gonna be gone, or I'm gonna. I know who my customers are. I've got them all set aside, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, around this room, you know, your business is probably a bit more expensive than that. But I can guarantee you right now that the difference between you and and and, and maybe even double your net worth is not going to be in new customers or um, going out there and finding all the new business and global expansion. It, it, it really won't come down to that. Um, obviously, that's great. Go do that too. But you could really make a lot of money just by introducing a system that just manages who your customers are and does the whole marketing sphere for you. Um, I find that is a very easy way to make a lot of money, um, especially if you are planning to sell the business. So what is it that we actually need? Um, <laughs> Marketing and data management system sounds really techy, but it's really not. I'm going to show you kind of some really easy ways you can implement it now. Um, like t tonight, if you wanted to, it's quite simple and you can start. The, the difference between, um, as I said, that 1 and that 2x maybe is not you know, this massive system. The difference between 1 and 1.8x is probably just downloading some applications and inputting some data. Um, the final 0.2x is when you refine it and you want to get, uh, you can get some real big, big movement. Um, so we talk about marketing management. Obviously, Ellis talked about earlier. He says marketing is not just new customers, right? It's 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 everything that your business ever touches ever. So it's your suppliers. It's who. It's everything. Um, and when we talk about marketing management, we want to connect this little system to your outbound marketing, to your inbound marketing, which is your general, you know, finding new customers from your website, finding new customers from, um, you know, all your relationships, your referrals. It's just what marketing people people think marketing is. Um, and then it's about systemizing and tracking your sales funnels, um, your e existing and the, your ex customers, making sure that you have their data, making sure that you know what they're up to, making sure that you're you're keeping um, in touch with them, communicating with them on a constant basis. It's what happens when a client leaves. It's having all of that systemized and making sure that communication's there. Offboarding, offboarding, and onboarding. So yeah, say so it's a you know offboarding is when the customer leaves. Onboarding is when a new customer comes on. Just general management of that data and making sure that all happens. Um, data management again. This is the most detailed part, so just bear with me. Um, data management is detail. So it's again making sure that you've got a central place where. Your marketing is, you can look at your marketing, it's integrated with your website, um, you know, it puts a value on your customers in terms of average sale, in terms of um, you know, how many times they're purchasing from you a year, uh, communication, segmentation, uh, tracking, all sorts of stuff they're doing on your website, and of course, client profiling, which is my favorite one, so understanding who your client is um, and going into detail around things like you know, what their birthday is or you know, why they're purchasing from you or what kind of is their favorite color. And depending on the kind of business, you can kind of go into a lot of detail on that. Um, in Sarita Grant, we've got about 25 different things that we learn about our, each customer. So when they've been in once, they'll get an email that says, um, you know, please fill out this, we want to give you your own personal experience. They'll tell us the hair color, where they went before, what their aspirations are, um, what shampoo they use, what gel they use. And all that stuff just means that when I go to an investor, I can say I've got 500 customers. Um, here are all their here here is all their client profile. I know exactly what they're doing on my website because I've got the email and I can track it. They're all segmented into whether they've got blonde hair, brunette hair, da 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 da. They're being communicated with on a constant basis. I know exactly how much they spend with us on, a, on every time they come in. They're integrated. The whole system's integrated with our site again, so I can track it, and they're receiving marketing information based on their segmentation. So I can do, that sounds really complicated, but I just literally very, very simple to do. 
Um, and that alone will make you an absolute fortune, 100%, because we've seen it time and time again. So just by integrating that, and that can be done in any business, you'll have customers, you'll have to sell something. It may not be as complicated as 25 different things, maybe just four or five, but it'll enable you to segment and then get really targeted with your marketing, which is absolutely vital again. Um, that'll help you with growing and making money. So how are we actually gonna start doing this? That's a really important thing. Um, Obviously, it's quite, you, can get, you can get bogged down in the detail of understanding client profiling, all that stuff. Um, but these two applications here will get you started. Um, have a look at them. They're really easy to use. Uh, if you want a discount on the actual software, just come and have a chat to me or Jacob. Uh, I think we get like a 25% discount because we're a certified partner of Active Campaign. Um, their support team is also very exceptional. So if you take a look at the, the, the system, it's basically a CRM system on steroids. So the idea is that it's a CRM system that will enable you then to basically run your whole marketing department from one place. Um, and the reason why we love it so much is because then we can create automations and things like that so that automatically, you know, if a form's on your website or you come up with an offer, um, the system will recognize those offers, recognize those forms um, and start segmenting it for you. So it'll say, you know, if they click, on, if they click blonde on the drop down, for example, hair again, um, it'll automatically segment them to the blonde box. Or if you've got, uh, with you guys, tax ranks over there, um, if it's executive over normal people or it's big companies, it'll start segmenting those for you and you can create lists and create all sorts of stuff. So if you really like to see things, you know, detailed, do that. If you like to, you know, we're not the most detailed people in the world, me and Jacob, so we don't do it to you. We could go a lot more detail than, than we do, but it'll force you to think a little bit in terms of segmentation, which I think is absolutely vital. Um, and again, super, super, super easy to use. Zapier, a little bit more complicated, but that's what's going to connect everything. So, um, you know, people, you obviously probably use Google Sheets, you probably use Google Calendars, you probably use different booking platforms, you probably use um, different quoting platforms or whatever. Um, go and have a look on Zapier uh, and see if it, you can connect it together. Because we've done things like Google Sheets, for example, we were able to... Uh, Every, all of our spreadsheets now, whenever a new row is updated in the spreadsheet, that will trigger the CRM system and update the CRM system with that contact, whoever's in that contact field. <coughs> so you think about that, that means there's, there's huge amounts of time saved. Um, and the idea with it is that you can, it's, it's all about systemizing the routine and humanizing the exception. If you can systemize your routine and all the stuff that takes ages and you think, wow, that's really not worth my time, you think, God, do I actually have to do this? You can probably automate it. Um, if you want any help or if you've got any issues, just come and have a chat because we'll help you out with that um, in terms of you know, what you need to do. Marketing is every single touch you have with anyone to do with your business ever. Um, again, thinking about your channels, thinking about your suppliers, thinking about your employees, your investors, your customers, your ex-customers. Um, you can implement that kind of mindset right now. Um, so one of the big things that we do is we're helping franchises that are absolutely in a bit of a rut because they don't have... Um, They've got 200 franchises, for example, but then no one's saying the same thing, right? And this may be the same thing on same case in small situations is you know, you've got your employees, but no one's saying the same thing. You know, you've got a franchise in Edinburgh that's completely different brand style to someone down in, 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 she in Sheffield or in Bournemouth, for example. So the idea is that you can go in there and you, with, with systemization, everyone talks the same thing, everyone's unified. Um, and again, the business gets valued more. So just making sure everyone is on the same page. Um, and on a small business, making sure that your marketing is exactly the same to your customers and your ex-customers, as well as your employees and your suppliers will make sure there is no misunderstandings. You look like a legitimate operation. And again, what is this doing to your valuation? It's just helping and cementing that further. It's giving, the, it's giving the investor, it's giving the buyer, it's giving that person the absolute understanding that you know what you're doing and you finished your business basically. So again, value, value, value. I've talked about this a minute ago, but I want to go back into it. Client profiling is probably the most important thing you can ever do in your life. And I know that some people around this are thinking maybe, oh, I mean, I know who my customer is. You don't, you don't know everything. And you can pro there's many, many, many things about that customer that you could know quite easily that would absolutely help you in terms of marketing. So segmenting them into the, different, the many, many different types of customer that you've got or where they are in the world or you know, what kind of things they like. If you're, an, if you're a luxury business, you'd be thinking about what kind of clothes they wear, what kind of budget they spend. Um, 
And having that information will dramatically change uh, your ability to target market. Um, you'll also save a lot of money because you won't be blasting it out there. Um, example of this was we'd launched a campaign with a, with a fishing bait company um, who said, our customers will never give us data. They're middle-aged men. They don't give a, they're never going to give us anything. They're never going to give us where they fish, what their rods are, anything. Because they just think we're going to sell to them. I was like, but don't they buy from you? Yes. Okay then. So that's first chick gone. They buy from you. So they, they do want to buy. So they do want you to sell to them because they want what you sell. And two, the only reason no one gives you any data is because you haven't given them enough value. So hair, hair, hair salons, when we ask for an email address, when they purchased a haircut, they say no, about 70% of the time, because they don't want to give you it. If we offer them a free hair perfume, they say yes every time. So the only reason they're not giving you the data is because you haven't asked for it in the right way. And the reason why, and this, this trumps companies so much, they say, well, we're, well you know, we don't want to ask, we're too, we're not too invasive, it's too, you know, we don't want to do that because you know, we don't want to look like we're just trying to sell them. You know, you're not, really. You're giving them enough value and that enables you to target their experience and make sure their experience is much more, right? Kitchens, we talked about giveaways. You know, giving away certain things like that people want for their kitchen accessories in return for information about their family as to when their anniversary is, things like that. If I know when anniversaries are, I could spend, you know, if you're, if you're selling a 50 grand kitchen and you've got your acquisition cost of, I don't know, maybe a thousand, two thousand pounds, you can afford to send them a bunch of flowers every year on an anniversary. You can afford to send them a beautiful knife set at Christmas. You can afford to do these because it's, it's, it's part of the marketing process. If you know exactly what that customer wants and it's all documented, then what's that going to do? It just increases that ability for that investor to want to come and buy your business, it increases the value of your business straight away. Um, okay, absolutely super key. So just profile is in as much detail as possible. Um, you can all do it, try and do that. And again, if you just do these four things today, I promise you you'll be, your net worth will jump up um, significantly. The heart. How many of you in the room actually have a place where all your marketing is managed? Yeah? One or two, so you do now. <laughs> um, so the, the idea is that whenever I say that to a room, I reckon probably one or two people will actually put their hand up. Um, and then they get, it's really interesting because I have to go through this phase of this speech of top level, detail, top level. And the, de the detail bit, I get all these shuffly papers and people are like, oh God, I don't know if I can do, I don't want to do this crap. I just want to do my business. I'm going to go and whatever. Anyway, and the point is, is that when we ask this question, nobody's done it. Nobody's got it. They all, people, business owners think, oh, you know what? I've just got my marketing. I'm going to do, I'm just going to do what I'm doing every day because that's, that's going to help me get there. But I can promise you right now, create a central heart where it may be the simplest thing in the world. Maybe just be downloading active campaigns, paying $7 a month, whatever it is, and just having that and just using that very simply to manage who your customers are and who your ex-customers are. But just by having that heart, and then as your business grows down the line, you may hire a marketing manager or whatever. It gives you a place to monitor their KPIs. It gives you a place to monitor all your data. It will, if you want it to, connect to all those things we talked about earlier in terms of site integration and cookies and automations. And, you know, for example, you can build, we're just building out a 12 month email chain that will start segmenting based on what they do in the emails and all that stuff. Beautiful detail, but you know, it's, it's, it's a way down the line. So having a heart, of your operation, a central system that you can then actually show someone, be it your employees or be it your investors, um, again, will dramatically increase the value of your company. Um, especially nowadays, because guess what? Data is worth its weight in gold. None of the data is now the number one of the number one commodities on this planet, 100%. And you, you aren't, as I said earlier, you're a marketing agency with a specialism in kitchens or whatever. You're actually a data farm. In reality, people come and buy data. I know that sounds brutal and marketing is brutal, but look at Facebook, look at LinkedIn, look at all these platforms. They aren't social networks, they're data farms. They make their money selling advertising based on your data, right? So when you're, if you build a huge, build a really awesome taxi company and you've got data on all these people, that's what they're buying. They don't, you know, they, with all, with like, they don't really care about all the other stuff. They care about data, how much money is that data going to make, and is it going to, is it going to, is it operationalized enough that it's going to attract more? And if you can prove that, and honestly, it's really not hard work. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of technology. Um, 
And guess what? And if you talk to Ellis, you'll, he'll walk you through these um, heavily. But the business in reality is just leads. It's just conversion rate. It's just how many times they purchase from you a year. It's just the average sale value and it's just margins. It's just five things. Every business can be broken down into these five areas. And a central system will help you build all five. And if it doesn't help you build all five like on its own, which it probably will, it'll just give you a place where you can monitor that in detail and with ease. Um, that's one of the things that we talk about all the time is how difficult it is to actually measure this stuff. But just, if you have it and you can, you can do it really easily, then again, it's just it, it, the, the amount of value you can generate in your company is, is insane. Um, so what does actually, let's think about this, what does it actually show to whoever's buying your company or, you know, for example, if it's a new MD that you just brought in to run your company while you're on the beach or it's your son or daughter that's coming in to take over the family company or it's whatever, or your management buyout. It shows, you, shows them that you are thorough, it shows them that you're innovative and it shows you that you are strong. So that when you're managing them and you're managing their expectations, you're keeping them to their KPIs, you look legitimate, you look strong and it gives you a place where, as Ellis said, you're sat on a deck somewhere looking at the budget, you can also just check in your marketing system and see how it's running um, and see how much you've spent and see how much people, see how much last month the average sale went up in value or see if it went down because it'll be right there in front of you. Um, absolutely, 100%, uh, the most important thing you could do. If you want any help with that, let us know. We build those systems every day. Um, I, I do honestly believe that you can go away and build the simple system you know, on your own, um, but when you want to get to the complicated aspects, just do that. Um, because again, we can build out some amazing automations and stuff um, that should, you know, autom automation sounds crazy like it's some kind of like terminator thing. It's not, it's, 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 it's keeping, systemizing the routine and humanizing the exception. So we still want to keep you human because that's what makes you and your business you. Um, but at the same time, business has to work and grow without you as well. So that's it. Awesome. Thanks very much, guys.